Hi guys, it's Maddie. You know, I'm not going to do the whole intro because I've tried to film this video a few times and I'm not going to lie to you. The last time I tried to film it, I got it and Bridget Clay and I said no. I'm not doing that. I can barely read one book. I'm lucky if I read two books a month. I am not reading it or Bridge of Clay in February. I'm not, okay? I'm just not going to. So we're going to refilm it. I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. But I, I'm just not going to read it or Bridge of Clay. I'm just not going to. And I got it. The first book I got was it. I started crying. I did. And I don't want it. So. pick your TBR. Um, now listen, I could have done this with life. I realized that as I tried to film the intro for another one of these clips and the intro didn't work out. So I realized I could have done like life or like chess or one of those, but you know what? We're not going to do that. So, um, yes, we're going to be doing a random number generator. I might do life at another time, but we're not going to do life right now. It is currently the 19th of January, of March, it's the 19th of January, and um, we're going to pick a TBR for January, February, February. I already have two books on my February TBR, so these might run, these books might run into March. I have Nevermore and Wondersmith, I'm rereading them for my uh, book club fun thing. So yes, I have all the books that are backwards are books I've not read. There's about 30 of them. If you count Percy Jackson series right here, if I turn these other ones around, it would be about 40 of them. But since I have, if I get one of these books, I have to do the first one. The first one's the only one turned around. So, in this cup that I got from Lumi Crate, that's actually Z Zelly from Children Blood and Bone. But we're acting like she's not Zelly because we don't like Zelly in this channel. So, yes. Um, nothing wrong with her, we just don't like the book that she's from, and that's personal opinion. So we're going to add that this isn't Zelly, it's a different book character. Maybe it's from Kingdom of Souls, I don't know. Anyway, so in this book I have five, in this book, and in this cup I have five different prompts. And I have to pull out a prompt, and that prompt will depict what book I have, like what numbers I have to pick for my, my number, my random number generator. Um... And then at the end of this, I get one, one book, one book that I don't want on my TBR. So if I get it again, I can, I have the chance to take that off my TBR because I don't want to read that. Um, so yes, there's one book I can get picked up, I can pick off my TBR um, if I don't want to read it. So yes, I do eventually want to read it, but I don't want to read it in February. So yes. Anyway, so without further ado, let's take off, let's shake this up. So there's prompts like, um, like the numbers, your age, which I'm 15, so it'd be 15 to like 38, which is like the last book on the shelf. Um, so there's like prompts like that, there's prompts like shelves 1, 2, and 3, and it has the numbers. Shelf 1 is over here, you can't currently see, so there's shelf 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And, um, yeah, okay. I really want, I, there's all the books on shelf one I really want to read. They're all brand new. So, yes, I got this one. I'm scared. I know I folded one of the, like, the 15. I folded it up really tight because I didn't want it. Shelves one or four, numbers one to ten. So, shelf one is over there and four is right here. So, there's seven, eight, nine, ten. So, there's three books on this shelf and seven of them on that shelf. So I'm actually not mad at this because I have a higher chance of getting a, a book off shelf number one. So let's come over here to my phone. Let's load up the random number generator. And I'll show you guys so you know I'm not cheating. Hey, I need one through ten anyway. That's perfect. Okay, one through ten. Are you ready? It's three. Oh, I was so close. Okay. One, two, three. Whoa. This is a book I want to read, and it is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is a collector's edition. My dad got it for me. 
Um, okay, I'm out of this because I do want to read this book. I think it has assassins in it. I love books with assassins. So, yes, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm excited for this. This is the prop. We're going to put it right there. Okay, so... I'm so scared. Oh no, it's another very well folded one. Okay. My age and up. So the numbers are 15 to 38. I even put a frowny face because I really don't like this one. Okay. So book 15. So let's find more. That's, this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. Okay, so this is 15 book. I just want to say it out so I know what it where it is so I don't have to count. So let's go back to my number generator. All right, I got to put the numbers in. So 15 to 38. Okay. 25. 25. Okay, truly devious by Maureen Johnson. I'm okay. I'm I'm not I'm not bad at that cuz I I'm okay. Okay. We're doing okay so far. So, yes. Okay. Let's do another one. I already have two books on here. So, like I said, I think I said that already. So, yeah, we're just going to have to see. Okay. So, this is random number. Mom picks two numbers between 1 and 28. Okay. This is what it says. I'm going to go ask her. Be right back. Okay, she gave me 36 and 38. What a wow, what a range of numbers. I wonder which one I'm going to get. Okay, so 36 and 38. 38! 38! 38. Okay. So, well, I would have been fine with 37, but obviously that's not. So, Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa, Melissa Bash or doused. Had this on here since it came out, most likely. So, all right. Well, all right. That's on here as well. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna do one more. I guess we'll just see. I'm scared. Can we pick some more numbers? No, I don't want to pick anyone. No, they do. <laughs> they do. Okay. So then I got shelves. One, oh, shelves one, two, and five, number one through 20. Okay, I really want a book off the top shelf again, because I really like those, like, really want to read those. So, one to 20, there we go, and generate 15. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what this is. <gasps> Rebel of the Sands. Okay, 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 okay. So that's the last one I'm doing. Because I already have two books on there for February. And now I have eight. And I don't read eight books a month. So. Alright. So let's go over the books I have to pick from. And what one I'm going to be taking off my TBR. Due to the fact that I don't want to read it. Or to the fact that it's too big. One of the two. So these are the four books. I have on my TBR for February slash March because realistically I'm not going to get to all these in February. So I have The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I have Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I have Girls Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa Bouterdash. And I have Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. So, now I get to pick woo, what book out of all of these I am least interested in reading. And I think, honestly, hmm, I know this sounds good, but I don't know. It's a mixture between these two. I just got this one when I went to see, I didn't, no, I just got this one. I got this in May of 2019, seriously? I got it that long ago. I feel like I just got this one. Um, so I definitely am going to be keeping The Lies of Locke Lamora on here. And I do think I'm going to be keeping Rubble of the Sands on here as well. This one's really short too. It's only... 
314 pages and I've heard it, it's really good. I think I got this book off of Peru's Projects. I think she read it and liked it. So I think I'm gonna be reading this one and I'm gonna be reading The Lies of Locke Lamora for sure. Now the next one, I have to pick which ones I don't want on my TBR. And I think I'm gonna go with Girls Made of Snow and Glass. I think I'm gonna knock this one off my TBR. It sounds good, it does, but it's just not calling my name. You know what, neither of these are really calling my name, so there's a big chance that I won't even get to this one, but I do definitely wanna try and get to these ones. So I'm gonna put this one back on my shelf. And yeah, so basically out of the books that we did today, I picked three of them. And I picked Rebel of the Sands, Lies of Locke Lamora, and Truly Devious. Out of these, the most excited one I'm the one I'm most excited for is the Lies of Locke Lamora. I just love assassins, and I'm pretty sure this one has assassins in it. I like death. I think a lot of these have death in them, honestly, but I think all of them do. I don't know. So those are the three books I have on my TBR for this month. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions, I'm sorry. If you guys have any suggestions and you want me to do this again, comment them down below. In the description box, there is a link to a website, to a Google forum where you can comment on things because I am classified as a kids friendly channel so you can't comment on my YouTube videos but if you guys do want to comment like maybe you guys want to see this again so maybe if you guys want to see this video again go over on the forum and comment on the one that has the video title on it and maybe comment some prompt ideas um, maybe like maybe like put like books on there I don't know just like give me some ideas because I would do this again if you guys are interested in it um, yes, but I'm not really a TBR person, so it might be a little bit more difficult, but I'm super excited to read this one. Um, this one I'm okay, excited for, and this one is the one I'm least excited for on this TBR. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go, again, don't forget to go to the description box and click the Google Form link. It's literally, like, right at the top. It's right after, the, like, a little bit of, like, the description thing. It says the link for comments is right there. Please go check it out. I'm just, it's brand new. I don't get many comments, but I do want to have the option if you guys still want to comment. Again, it's linked in the description box. It's not going to give you a virus or anything. It's just, a, it's a Google form. So, anyway. So, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're not already. Subscribe to me if you'd like to be. And don't forget, I'm a rambler who doesn't shut up. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. I need an angel after what you did. Because you were the devil. You mess with my head You lied to my mother oh.